Hi everyone, it's Aya James. The new Tarasha ring is amazing. I updated my previous ball lightning build and got another 90% multiplicative damage boost based on my calculations. It has infinite mana and decent tankiness that I can fly in tier 100 without worrying about dying. Tier 100 bosses are vanished in 5 seconds. I'm pretty confident this build will perform well against the new content in 1.2.3 which is similar to the greater rifts in Diablo 3 that is going to be launched on December 5th. I have a further optimized version for bosses that the Booper Lilith is melt in only 3 seconds. Yes, only 3 seconds without any elixir. Most of the guide and synergies in the build can be found in this ball lightning video. Like the details on why ball lightning is so good in season 2, how to achieve infinite mana to cast infinite ball lightnings, how to build tankiness effectively to face tank tier 100, and many more. Take a look if you are interested, and I will skip those in this video. To fully unleash the new Tarasha Ring's power, we will do 4 types of elemental damage. We already have lightning damage from ball lightning, and fire damage from firebolt enchantment. We deal cold damage from ice blades. Note that Frost Nova doesn't trigger any cold damage, as there is no cold damage tag on the skill description, while Ice Blades does have it. Ice Blades also doesn't cost mana and further improves the efficiency of Conjuration Mastery, where we have 3 points to improve our damage by another 12% during ultimate time. Using Ice Blades is way better than Frozen Warp or Blizzard. The last elemental damage type is Poison Damage. We use the Infection Vampiric Power that every 8 hits trigger 1 poison damage hit. With all 4 types of elemental damage, we get a constant 60% multiplicative damage boost. We can still cast infinite ball lightnings even without the recharging aspect from my testings, since the Tarasha ring gives resource generation stat. As long as we have 20% mana cost reduction on amulet, 10% mana cost reduction on boots, 3 ranks to invigorating conduit to recover 12 mana per quickly energy pickup, and three quickly energy generators, one from shock skills, one from chain lightning, and one from ball lightning in the skill tree. If you find your mana insufficient without the recharging aspect, another option is to get crit chance plus resource generation on the other ring. It is fine losing one damage stat and replace it with resource generation stat. Getting infinite mana first is the most important thing in the build. Additionally, I keep the skill points in the lightning spear but don't use it in the skill bar on purpose. So that during ultimate time, we have lightning spear to stun ranged enemies. We can avoid tons of damage and melt them before they can attack. Plus the anticipation vampiric power and the extra cooldown reduction stat from the new Tarasha ring. We get close to zero cooldown ultimate that we can cast it non-stop down everything and melt everything. We can further optimize the Paragon board for another 15% damage boost and 30% damage boost against bosses, but it requires upgrading two new glyphs if you come from the previous build. One is to replace the reinforced glyph with the elemental glyph since we have all three elemental damage now. This improves our damage by another 15% multiplicatively. To compensate the survivability loss from removing the reinforced glyph that gives 15% damage reduction, I updated the first and the third board to take all 2% maximum life nodes. I did 8 tier 100 runs, the survivability feels similar to the previous build. There was no death and I can face tank a couple of hits in tier 100. Another is to move the territorial glyph to the second board and replace the control glyph with the Enchanter Glyph. Since we do a lot of uber bosses in endgame, they are usually not staggered that the Control Glyph is not very useful. Also, the extra 90% non-physical damage can be combined with the Frigid Fate Legendary Node for another 9% extra multiplicative damage. Plus, we get 5% extra maximum lightning resistance that we take around 17% less lightning damage that helps us survive better in tier 100 nightmare dungeons. I know it takes time to upgrade new glyphs. The previous paragon board works too. If you got a bit of extra time, switching to the new paragon board is great for bosses, especially uber ladies, if you plan on defeating her. If you haven't upgraded the control glyph or the reinforced glyph, awesome, just take this new version as it is more damage 
in a balanced way with similar survivability. I also made a version of this build to go full damage that melts Uber bosses including Uber leaders. It is fairly easy to switch between the two builds by just swapping the chest armor and the pants. We use Raymond of the Infinite for further additive damage and more glass cannon passive. If you got a T-Bow's wheel that has more than 30% damage boost, use it. Otherwise, using a plus 4 rank ball like Lean Pants is more damage. I still use Disobedience on Helm as I haven't got a God Slayer, Crown, or Shako. Definitely switch to either of them if you got one. The new Tarasha ring is great, but how do we farm it? It is dropped by defeating Uber Varshan. We need these 4 materials to summon it. All materials are dropped by completing the Tree of Whisper bounties. Sometimes when we complete a bounty, we will see this fingerprint-like icon on the map. There will be a monster spawning soon, and we get another 1-2 to two materials after melting it. So check the map when you complete any bounty, and stay a little longer when you see this fingerprint icon. The location to farm Uber version is just left to the Whisper Tree. Most times we have more materials of one type than other types. We can go to the Alchemist to gamble between the three types of materials, or exchange Manigana Heart for the other three types. By going to the Refine Resources tab, and buying those body caches. For example, I got two trembling hands from two blackened femurs, and it's slightly better distribution between the four types. I like the new Tarasha ring. It is a great addition to the game that gives a significant damage boost for all sorcery builds. Apart from ball lightning, chain lightning, charge bolt, fire, and ice builds will all shine with this new ring. I highly recommend spending some time to target farm it. It will be a massive damage amplifier to your build no matter what build you are running. I will go through my full build details. Please check this ball lightning video if you are interested in how it works and why I choose everything. You can find all the build links and resources in the description of the video too. Please help me share the video if you find it useful and subscribe to my channel for more Mimax sorcery builds. Thank you for watching and see you next time.